coming to the Bass River Paddle. This is a celebration of the river, and we were, we've been favored by wonderful weather, especially after yesterday. So, woohoo! Um, the one, Allison and I, uh, Barbara Warren, are both from Salem Sound Coast Watch, and we're working with the city of Beverly on a grant, an MVP grant, uh, Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness. And you'll learn about climate change and how that's going to affect the river here today. Uh, so that's what this study has been. The uh, we and Salem Sound Coast Watch has been working with the in, involving the community, getting people involved to learn about the Bass River, learn about climate change, and help the city uh, with decisions on, on how uh, to find solutions, right, and to adapt. So today we are going to go up to um, along the right side here, or on the industrial side. And as we go, we'll see, we'll pass the National Grid side. We'll pass where River House and Hills Yacht Club Yacht Yard is. We'll go past Moynihan Lumber. And that's all on this side of the bridge. Um, in the future, uh, with storm surge, these uh, properties will be flooded. And there, some like Moynihan's already in, uh, at the end of December, December 23rd. They already we saw pictures of the water coming into their lumber yard. None of the buildings, but you know you can see the water during storms coming up. Uh, with the increase in sea level rise that's expected from one and a half to four and a half feet by 2070, uh, this that those storms will be worse. And that's what this study is looking at. So Allison has put some signs up when we go under the bridge, and I hear the bridge is supposed to open at 1. Um, what? what? 1.30. One thirty. Okay, so it's supposed to open at 1.30. There's a sailboat coming out. So nobody hit the sailboat. <laughs> and I hopefully they, they're on motor power, so they're not going to hit us. Um, so when we go past, we're going to see the car wash, and there's always pictures of that being flooded and up you see the boat ramp and that the water goes up that way and then we're going to come to a, a, a building a, just a concrete building that uh, will have some signs on the chain link fence and that will show say where the the level of water will come in 2030 and 2070 uh, um, in a storm so with sea level rise and a storm that's when how high the water will get and that is the margin street pump station and yesterday it must have been pouring out of there because it takes all the water from 300 acres on the other side of the railroad track that would normally have flooded and so there's a series of pumps and the water comes and that margin street pump station pumps the water so those that 300 acres won't flood um, and so the city is looking, how do we make this survive climate change? Uh, what, what do we do now and what do we have to do in the future? Uh, then we'll go up to um, Innocenti Park and the, um, the youth center. And that's a, a, center, a building that's never flooded, but they are designing a new one. And they are going to move it over towards the, the, uh, the road away from the river because we understand that climate is changing and we have to adapt to what this river is. This river will be here, right? So we have, we people have to adapt to what the river is going to do. Uh, and then we, there's some salt marsh, which we probably will see today. It'd be great if we could get that to be healthier. And then there's the Bass, Bass uh, Haven Yacht Club. Uh, we've talked to Allison and I talked with them and Arena um, O'Keefe who's with the sustainability department here in uh, Beverly talked with them this week about you know just exp informing them about what will happen with climate uh, and then we go to the walkway and we're going to go across at that point uh, the river comes out from shoe pond everybody knows that right <laughs> so we don't want to get near that culvert we're gonna we're gonna cut across before that um, I think all the water will be still pouring out of it, but we're going to cut across. And then we get to go on the other side, which is Green, Green Hill uh, Conservation Land. And it's going to look more like what we're seeing across here. 
So that's the sort of the natural uh, remaining, you know, trees and, and great nature. And then we've got our industrial side here. Um, well, as we go, the birds are back. So uh, I just saw um, a cormorant fly by. Uh, we saw egrets the other day. So hopefully we'll see um, birds as we go. Um, the, the, this is an avian corridor, or whatever it's called. Okay. So Susie said this is an avian corridor? A migration route. Sort of a migration route coming. Well, and do you think it's because they've got all the water, but then they also have the trees? Yeah. I mean, you can hear them. Somebody's calling out there. Mm -hmm. uh, Allison, did I forget anything? No, I think, you know, this is, again, like Barbara said, a celebration. And so we just wanted to get everyone out into the, on the water and do kind of a walk and talk from the water perspective. So we'll be around if you have any questions about, you know, the natural aspects, the ecology of the river, we're more than happy to share. And we'll point out some interesting things along the way, but more of just a leisurely paddle to, uh, to enjoy the Bass River. everyone for coming today this was fantastic it was what a beautiful river this is and it was a beautiful day and we again we want to thank everyone for coming we want to thank the people in the city who helped make this happen